And you are listening to Lunchtime Live with Andrea Gilligan. Thanks to Adrian for filling in for the past two days. You can give us a call, 1800 453 106. That's the number. We'll be chatting about Botox, apprenticeships and cooking your Christmas dinner in an air fryer over the next uh, two hours today. But on the topic of food, I do want to talk about this new research. It's out from the University of Southern California in the US. And they found that apparently plant-based foods are much more appealing when they aren't labelled as vegan. So I want to know, does the word vegan on whatever the, the packaging is of the products that you're looking at on the supermarket shelf, does it affect your purchase when you see the word vegan? Connor Sweeney from Day Ice Cream is with me on the line today. Connor, does seeing vegan on packaging actually put people off here? Hi, Andrew. Thanks for having me today. I appreciate it. Um, yeah, short answer, it does. It um there is a uh, idea that if something is labelled vegan, it tends to have poor quality ingredient, ingredients, potentially even made in a lab that people don't understand. And when the vegan uh, trend came along, maybe about three years ago, um, there was an influx of poor tasting products which had this label on it, um, which didn't really refer to the lifestyle. So the original veganism kind of moved over to a plant-based uh, phrasing, while the poor quality ingredients now stick with that vegan label which usually means it's not as nice so if you want to make it attra attractive to g the general population don't label it vegan pretty much yeah because I do see more and more, Connor, in supermarkets, um, just when you mention it, there are products being described as plant-based, you know, X, Y or Z or whatever it is, rather than ever really seeing the word vegan. Yeah, definitely. I think there's also a switch in ingredients which are being used as well, because when you refer to plant-based, your initial assumption is that you're using plants, you know, you're using lots of beans, you're using lots of um, products that you can get uh, off a farm rather than uh, like I said earlier, something that's made in a lab that you wouldn't really understand that traditional and um, these labelled vegan foods would be made from. So it gives a perception of better health and uh, uh, nicer flavour and nicer taste to it. Yeah, okay. So so for for you guys, Connor, at at, uh, at Day Ice Cream, I mean, what sort of language do, do you use in the marketing then? Yeah, so here at Day, we're an allergy-free brand. We're free from 13 of the top uh, 14 EU allergens. So we legally can't call uh, a lot of our products, um, whether it has nuts, uh, dairy or anything, through EU law. So we actually don't say anything on it other than our USB, which is we're free from. Um, and then, so we don't say it's uh, plant-based on the front or anything. You have to go right around to the back and then you'll see all our call-outs. Yeah, so free from whatever, ABC. Exactly, yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, it's interesting in the research they looked at, you know, they had a, a gift basket, a food gift basket, and they said it was plant-based or vegan. When they said that, only 20% of people selected the item. But the same basket with the same items labelled healthy and sustainable, there was a 44% uptake. Yeah, I'm not surprised. I'd well believe that. We, our original product we launched two and a half years ago, did have vegan on the front. And uh, we were, then we took it off because we saw that hit ourselves. So was vegan a dirty word, Connor? I wouldn't say it's dirty. I think the um, influx of poor tasting and poor quality and poorly formulated uh, products in recent years has maybe given the consumer perception that it's not as good as it should be. And I think that original term is just switched to plant-based. It's all just marketing at the end of the day. They're mm. all uh, they're all the same thing. Here. But it's how it's branded, yeah. yeah. consumer a little bit more. S Stephen's on the line as well, Connor. Um, Stephen, do you think vegan is it is it an appealing word? No, I don't. I don't believe so. I, I agree with everything that that Connor is saying there about his product and and, and the way that it's labelled. Um, I do think it's just in what he says, like as regards, it, it's kind of seen as being over overly processed and bad ingredients and everything else you know and I think this and it's kind of frowned upon I think people don't don't really uh, there's no kind of good light in, in people that are vegan that are looked upon they're kind of looked as kind of like a hippie kind of style or, or kind of like tree hugger types and it's and, right. I, and I don't think people actually like the the, the term vegan yeah exactly are yeah. you vegan yeah. Stephen I am I am oh yeah. are you right okay recently yeah well yeah. not recently in the last 
think 2019, around October 2019, yeah. I, I switched my diet. Yeah. And for what reason did you switch? Um, it was it was initially for my health. Uh, initially it was, yeah. And then I just kind of started doing a bit of research into the process of food. Now, I was actually reared on a beef and dairy farm or whatever, but now I'm kind of gone the complete opposite side of the scale, you know, whereas... I kind of I, I, I wouldn't agree with it now anymore because okay. I kind of look at the the animal side of it and I look at the environmental side of it and yeah I just kind of changed my whole lifestyle. And really. and and since you you changed and 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 you know you'd follow a vegan diet now do you notice these kind of attitudes like would you yourself Stephen would you get that would you experience that from people that there's sort uh, of a I would I would yeah I would no matter where you go it always comes up in conversation no matter who I'm with or friends and all a lot would talk about it or people that wouldn't know me that well if it comes up in conversation a lot of people would would think that it'd be me that bring it up in conversation but it always happens that if you go out into a restaurant and people wouldn't know you and they say oh, how, how come you didn't get this or how come you didn't get the other and then you say that you're vegan they kind of attack you not in a bad way at start right. but you kind of try and defend yourself and then hey, what would they say to you? Um, well, it'd be, I suppose, like, it wouldn't kind of start off argumentative, but it could go that way, and I try and nip it in the bud before it does, you know, because I don't know what it is. I think it's just people in Ireland, and because we have such a, you know, rich farming background in, in animal agriculture, I think people try and, and because there's so many people from farming backgrounds to try and defend us, hmm. you know what I mean? Whereas, in, in realistically, like in studies, have shown that animal agriculture is not sustainable, not in Ireland anyway, with the with the uh, carbon emissions and everything else okay. that comes along with it, and land use and everything. So, so, so <laughs> we is it do, do we view vegans negatively then? I think so. Yeah. No, not. I can't say that for everybody. You know, yeah, but, but just in your own experience. Everybody. Yeah, yeah, just in my own experience. Yeah, I know my friends or whatever would obviously just have a laugh and a joke about yeah. it. You know, I, I kind of know them, but as regards, now other people like like to have the conversation. Mm. You know, but the way I kind of see it is that a lot of people they'll have the conversation and they might agree with you at the end of it all, but there's still no change there. Right. You know, they would they'd, they'd always say, "God, I could never do that." Yeah. But, but there's probably easier. curiosity or, uh, maybe around it, is it? You know what? Sorry. Is is there just curiosity? Around it yeah, and watching, yeah, and... yeah, yeah, yeah. The curiosity, and of course, yeah. as your other caller was just saying, there, there is uh, being vegan or whatever. Years ago, it would have been that bit harder, and as your other caller said, there that the products that were came out, like the the, the plant based cheeses and stuff that would have came out, they were absolutely, you know, di- diabolical. Yeah, you know, but yeah. Now, I've tried some of them. You know, the, it, it, it's changed, like yeah. you know, and. People think that there's a lot of added ingredients that wouldn't be good for you, but okay. when you actually read and do a bit of research into the ingredients in them, it's actually in a lot of, you know, your breads or your pastas and all anyway, so you're eating it anyway, you know, but people just don't realise that. Hey, Sandra Higgins is, is on the line as well, Stephen and Connor. Sandra's the director of, of Go Vegan World. Do you think vegan has become a, a bad word, Sandra? Well, my attitude towards veganism um, are not good, and I would primarily blame the media for that. Uh, it's it's very difficult to get uh, an accurate media representation of what veganism is, which is um, a moral philosophy of not har- not harming to the greatest extent possible. It, it applies to humans as well as non-humans. So, yeah, I think there are negative attitudes in the media, but on the on the ground, is, uh, is it all the media's fault? Sorry, is, is it all, is it all the media's fault? Uh, well, I think a lot of it is the media. I mean, there was a study done there in the UK a few years ago of 379 articles on veganism. Only five percent were positive, and right. very few, very few of them are accurate. Okay. Very few radio uh, or newspaper or television programs that accurately describe what veganism is. But on the ground, the perception of the, the, the attitude of people towards vegans is mostly um, mostly envious. I wish I could do that. And the, so the role of an organisation like Go Vegan World is to say, well, look, 
this is really relatively easy. It, it's very easy to do and it's the right thing to do. And I think that, you know, a little bit more accurate reporting and positive reporting would really help people. But with respect to the labelling, I mean, legal food has to be labelled according to its ingredients mm. in, a, in a way that's easy for the consumer to understand. And I, I heard what you said about that study. I haven't, I haven't read the study myself, but a study done in the UK very recently um, that compared whether people prefer products to be labelled plant-based or vegan, the vast majority of people prefer the term vegan. So as long as the, as long as the product is labelled suitable for vegan, that's very easy for vegans to understand. That's what we look okay. for. Okay, so um, then you, you found a different study in the UK that uh, totally contradicts the, the one that we're talking about. Well, in, in it, totally contradi- it doesn't totally contradict it because you have to look at, you know, which, what did each study measure? So the one in the UK didn't it didn't compare sustainable uh, those those terms. I yeah. Think it well, was. it was plant so based and plant-based vegan. Twenty twenty percent of people said they'd pick a plant based or vegan food gift basket, whereas forty four percent they'd pick a healthy or a sustainable. But Connor Sweeney from Day Ice Cream, Sandra, is, is still with us. And like, Connor, you were making the point that that is your experience that by you know moving away from the word vegan. Um, there was more, I suppose, better from a marketing perspective from, from your own view. Yeah, definitely. Like, we've always been a free-from brand that happens to be vegan, which is great. Um, but we have noticed that, like, we, for argument's sake, we had a pop-up ice cream shop at which we closed. We came to the end of our lease, started to close it, and the media, like, latched on to that one small aspect of being vegan and try to use that to uh, make it into a negative situation. So I do agree on what Sandra is saying there, 100%. Okay. Um, but in terms of labelling, I find that if we label something vegan, the people who are vegan, they will buy it. Yeah. But the 98% of the other general public uh, will potentially not even look at it because it says those five little letters. So I, I suppose, Sandra, is it about just more, you know, in general appealing to the the masses rather than than one group? Well, look, pe- people have to sell the products that they're making, and it's it's great to see um, a, bi- a business like Connors that tasted its product and it's delicious. And we want to support small businesses, but uh, on the other hand, um, I, you know, it, there really has to be a move towards more accurate present uh, representation of of veganism, and it, well, a lot of a lot of it is about personality and moral values as well. Uh, you know, vegans are, are associated with personality traits like agreeableness and openness. So we're more willing to try new things. Um, that, that that's reflected in our dietary choices as well. Okay. Whereas people who are, who are um, anti-vegan and uh, you know more inclined to eat an omnivorous diet are tend to be associated with personality traits like being more right-wing and authoritarian. And as well as that. And especially now coming up to Christmas, um, when there's, there's so much, look, an awful lot of people are suffering stress anyway. Chris, stress is heightened at Christmas. People are trying to have the perfect day. And especially for vegans, um, eating with non-vegans at Christmas, it can be really painful and really very, very stressful. And Why? Because there's no you know, options? Or people uh, don't buy no, as many options? What, what it is, is the minute you say you're vegan, the, the word vegan means that we don't cause unnecessary harm to other animals. We don't use them as, as resources and we, we believe it's wrong to use or kill them. Just by being vegan and picking the vegan choice, other people are, other people's choices which contradict ours. Our, our choices are we don't harm animals. Other people's choices are we don't care whether we harm them or not. So just by saying you're vegan reflects that back to the other person, even if you even if you don't say mm. anything else. And that is uncomfortable. Yeah. Well, I can imagine it would that, lead to a it could lead to a fairly hostile Christmas dinner conversation. It could. Yeah. It could. It yeah. could. Okay. And I would always advise people not to. Christmas dinner is not the place to no. discuss it. But in the same way that you might le- you might learn facts that make you realise that you're ra- that you're actually racist and might have been the last thing you ever thought you were, but that some of your thinking is racist. It's very uncomfortable, but it's so necessary that we do that and that we confront these attitudes because deep in our hearts, most people would say 
I don't want to harm animals. I do care about them. Right. So what we need okay. to do is align the, those values so that products can be labelled vegan. And, and th- th- these, is this the vegan. Go World, sort of Go Vegan World? Is that the, your own sort of d- definition, Sandra, in terms of aligning the traits it, with personality well, types? A, uh, no, that's some scientific research that, that has been done on, on personalities, the personality traits of different dietary choices, vegans, meat eaters, vegetarians. Okay. All right. L- let, me br- they, they the- l- l- let me bring Tom in, if you don't mind as well, Sandra. T- Tom is with us on the line too. What do you think about the word vegan, Tom? How you doing, Andrew? Thanks, uh, thanks for having me on. Um, well, I suppose the term vegan comes with a lot of, uh, <laughs> probably comes with a lot of bad connotations. Um, uh, probably stemming from scenes of people chaining themselves to milk fridges and, and, and kind of almost beating other people over the head. I, I think, yeah, the term vegan definitely has a negative kind of uh, attachment to it. But I think there are definitely people like myself who eat plant-based. And I think that's the kind of term that people aren't just kind of jarred by. Um, definitely, yeah. I mean, I, I, I've had people kind of jokingly say to me, you know, how, how do you know how do you know you're talking to a vegan? And they'll uh, they'll tell you they'll that tell they're you. vegan. I, I I don't go around telling people I'm vegan. I I, I wouldn't actually class myself as vegan. Yeah, um, but you're I, curious I, I, to try some of the products. Oh and... no, I'm completely. I know. Listen, as, as far as diet goes, essentially, I, I guess technically I would be vegan. It's just the mentality of it. I I wouldn't be vegan. Like if I see a nice leather coat, I'm I'm I'm, I'm kind of biased. You yeah, know? it's not. I, I, I eat plant-based food for purely health reasons. There's no moral kind of thing about it. Um, you know, I had, I had a, I actually had a heart attack a couple of years ago. I was quite young in my forties. Okay. And when I kind of came out the other side of that, I was eating clean. I didn't, you know, I didn't necessarily go off meat or anything like that. And it was just through pure research into recovery. A lot of doctors, kind of spoke about managing your kind of health after uh, an event like that and nobody ever spoke about recovery you know and, it, and it's usually if anybody who's gone through that will know you come out with a shopping list worth of medication and afterwards um, I don't require any medication anymore <laughs> my cholesterol is on the floor so you mind your um, diet and, 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 and that but, yeah. but, but, but you think there is a sort, um, a sort of a negative attitude then is there Oh, 100%. How could there not be when, when you have, I, I don't want to, you know, speak bad about it, but when you have people running into bloody restaurants, pulling lobsters out of tanks and throwing them back into estuaries and stuff, I mean, what, what does that do? Is that, a fair, is, is that a fair point, Sandra? Uh, well, look, you know, would you say the same thing about the people who are fighting against oil, the people who fight against racism, um, the, fe- the suffragettes? There are groups um, who, you know, who do that kind of direct action. I'm sure for the, the lobster who was taken from the tank, if they were put into, um, you know, if they were brought to a habitat that suited them and their life was saved, you know, that 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 life is worth saving. But the, you know, most vegans were were. Um, it's evidence-based, we're interested in science, we come from all kinds of backgrounds, health, environmental, philosophy, psychology, um, you know, we just go about our lives, you know, living our lives as best as best we can. Uh, I think to kind of cherry pick the, those people who, who do that kind of direct action from very good motives and, and it's not, you know, it's often successful, uh, to cherry pick them and say, how, 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 could, how could vegans not have a negative representation is very misleading. Okay. See, Ch- Ch- Tom, as he said, is not vegan. He eats a plant-based yeah, diet for, yeah, health reasons. for health reasons. Yeah. But, you know, the definition of vegans, we don't cause unnecessary harm to other animals. If, so if you think that there's something wrong with that, then the opposite of that is I don't care. I don't care about other animals. I don't care about humans and how they're suffering the okay. effects of animal agriculture versus the some, climate change. Some of the so, some of the, the messages in uh, on this. D and Kerry says we say plant based now. Hilarious that folks question plant based foods. Not as nice. We're concerned with the pain and suffering that's associated with the meat and dairy industry. We are evolving. Another listener, vegan as in bought packaged food is rarely healthy in general. I would avoid vegan labels. Fresh food is totally different. Obviously, so this texture. Is vegan a dirty word? Keep your messages coming into us 087 1400 106. Now, coming up shortly, 